<laughs> well, chick chat, we're here. Besides the top headlines, <laughs> there are some other stories that are making news this morning. Yeah, we're going to get to the topics of the day. We've got other chicks that are joining us. We've got our Lisa Mateo, we've got our church, and we've got our Emily Francis on the couch. All right, today we're going to bring in with the tail, the trail of money. You guys remember that? Uh, people in California picking money off the highway. Uh, but their feds are now looking for the, the people who actually picked the money after the uh, drug dealers threw that wad of cash. If we roll the videotape, you can see it. So a lot of people stopped on this. the freeway, collected the money, and apparently uh, the feds were able to collect 17000 but they want more of their money back. What do you guys think? Would you be returning the money? You should have listened to my advice, which is to return the money in the yeah. first place. Yeah, because they're going <laughs> to the videotape, apparently. They're going to the videotape. I wouldn't have stopped to take the money. <laughs> it, <laughs> you're a good church. I don't know. Getting into an accident, exactly. You're yeah, a better person, okay. Church, because I would be arrested right now. Because they'd be going to the video <laughs> no, tape, and I would have been wouldn't. putting that money in my pocket <laughs> and going. But what if it just blew in the window as you're driving by? Well, then that doesn't a... count. You didn't do anything active to, to seek out the money. It came to you. All right. That's like finding that's a, a penny tough one. on the floor. That's a tough one. Yeah, that's, well, that's a tough a, We have one someone there. that actually wrote in about that. It was Joe from New Jersey said that he wouldn't give it back for anything, and he would just keep it in. That would be the end Me and Joe are on the same page. Me and Joe are going to the pokey together. Uh, so if they were to find you after this story, if you did that, what, how would you respond to that? You know, of course I would say it wasn't me, it was my twin. I don't know. Uh, uh, go ahead, go to the next one. one. Okay, next one. A lot of women uh, taking more topless jobs because of the economy. They're losing their jobs and um, they're going into the <laughs> adult uh, entertainment industry. What do you guys think of that? They're saying that they're making more money now than they did at their regular desk jobs. Okay, if they can Tough do times. it. If they can do it. <laughs> like, oh, they make per night what they made in a week. That's yeah. what they're saying yeah three to four thousand exactly. dollars you know yeah. So. I bet it's not taxed as much either. And it's not taxed. <laughs> and you know what? I bet you, Church, there's a low overhead yeah, as well. That. That's what they say. <laughs> well, one of the things, though, too, one of the there, there was an article, and one of the girls said, oh, it gives me job security. But that, oh, I would no, say, no. 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 A lot of them have children. They're putting themselves through school. It's, that was my excuse. I was putting myself through school. What? Anyway. What? I know this. Pennsylvania, small town Pennsylvania, before anyone knew Sukhani Christians. All right, right, all right. It was a joke. All right, we're going to talk about the world's <laughs> cheapest car, and it's going on sale today, where of all places, in India. And uh, it's going to cost about $2,000. And uh, Lisa, there's some viewer emails regarding this because uh, I think that a lot of people are probably nervous because you figure, you know, there's already a, a million cars on the road in India in one city alone. So can you imagine this? Now everybody's able to afford, afford a, car? a car? Well, yeah. that's a good thing. If people can afford cars, yeah. I don't think, you know, there's nothing wrong. That's, that's but pollution positive. wise, they're talking that's about. That's the thing. It's not eco friendly. That's correct. Right? Right. Is it not an eco friendly car? I don't believe. I mean, it's basically a two cylinder car. engine, a four speed manual transmission. Transmission. It's not the top of the line. Right. You know, I want everybody who can afford it to get it. I, you know, I don't want, want the cars the to be restricted <laughs> yeah. to those who have money. So if they can afford it, they can get it. Good. Absolutely. Two thousand. Well, it'll be easy for me. My daughter's in college. She wants to graduate. She wants me to buy yeah. her a new car. Mm -hmm. Guess what? She's but it getting. doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> yeah. no. Not this car because it doesn't actually uh, work with the American safety standards. But oh, I can just pollution. tell you, okay. as a fellow Indian, That's dot not feather, and been to India <laughs> several times. More cars on the street is not a good thing no. in India. We need to come up with alternative sources, about, especially during this world. You know, if we're trying to save the they uh, need to build their yeah. infrastructure. Yeah. Absolutely, they need right. some roads. They need mm -hmm. you know. Let's talk about uh, what's going on with the economy. I know a lot of people are right, voicing right. their opinions. And do you have any good ones that you can share we with do. us, well, Lisa? One person was writing in. Uh, they're saying the the plan doesn't hit home hard enough. They okay. said the same execs that that screwed up the system that are being handed out a bag full of cash. They yeah. said when a school system fails, you know, monitoring the administrative duties, they're taken over by the government appointed experts. I mean, wouldn't that they're saying wouldn't that make the executives that earned executive exec, excessive bonuses think twice next time? Yeah, that's a lot mm -hmm. of people saying that you know the same people are in power that caused this. So you know, uh, I, you know. I don't really think so. It's a different administration, so we're going to have to figure it See out. See what happens. Well, yeah. James Ford has been on this since, uh, you know, day one. James, you're out uh, outside right now. Give us your take on this and what people are thinking about, about all of this with AIG and bonuses and government stepping in. Sure, yeah, we had response just here on the street, similar to what you're getting there online, which is uh, some skepticism just from regular folks uh, saying that, look, we've been in this for a while and things haven't gone well. What's to make it go well now? Right. But the fact is the markets are responding positively worldwide, saying a That's trillion nice. dollars of buying up the bad stuff probably frees up the good stuff and banks like this to, to get back to lending again. You know, I know we have to get back to the point where we start lending again, but, you know, as a person who likes to think a little bit longer term okay. than what's better for me today at this very moment, I'm very nervous when you start 
printing and borrowing All that money. trillions of dollars. Basic mm -hmm. history teaches, teaches you that, that I know we're in a deflationary period and they're trying to reinflate the economy and this is clearly a way to do that. But what happens with inflation is, is once it starts, starts, it's the hamster on the wheel. Right. Yep. And that could be, so I, it, it's so scary. It is. I don't scary. know how Nobody it's going to end up. Mm -hmm. And Geithner's mm -hmm. press conference will be coming up shortly. So I think a lot of people will be waiting to see how the market reacts. And of course, uh, we'll all be waiting with bated breath to, to react to this tomorrow. Yes, we will. <laughs> and don't forget that you too can get in on our Chick Chat. We're going to be discussing more hot topics in the next half hour, including... To sound off, all you have to do is log on to our website, WP. PIX.com slash morning news and click on the talk box and at the top of the screen tell us what you think because we're very, very interested in we it. We really are. All right, still to come on the PIX morning news. When it comes to fashion, well, he's the one that's going to tell you what to do and what to do and what not to do. I hope I'm not a not today. <laughs> Carson Cressley is here live with the latest fashion trends for spring. And our Jill Nicolini is in the PIX closet putting her best foot forward. Rock it out, baby. You're doing I'm so well. Look at you. I'm with the Rocket Rovers here with the Coach Lucy.